Hi, uh, my name is Flora, and I'm making this video about how to do the Master Cleanse and a little bit about my previous experiences with it, um, primarily because my friend Stella asked me about it, and um, I had a great experience on it the two times I've done it, so I wanted to share how it's done. So the first thing you need to know about the Master Cleanse is that Dr. Stanley Burroughs, back in the 50s or 60s, wrote a book where he outlined how to do this very, very, very simple liquid fast. That's what it is. It's a fast. No way around it. It is not a diet. It's a fast. And it's basically a colon cleanse. It's supposed to clear mucus and toxins out of your body to give you a fresh start so that you can um, embark on a new healthy lifestyle with no uh, food addictions still in your system. Um, the Master Cleanse is kind of a three-part diet. I'm not going to use the word diet. Um, Three-part fast. Uh, the first and most important part of it is going to be your laxative tea. Senna leaf tea. If you can find pure senna leaf tea, that is the best possible thing. Um, otherwise, smooth move works just as great. Don't underestimate this. This is some really strong stuff. And the longer you steep it, the stronger it is. Um, you're going to drink this every night before you go to bed, including the day before you start. Don't skip this. This is, this is like super important and crucial. Um, so you're going to drink the laxative tea every night. You're going to have movements because of it. And um, if you don't feel like you're having movements, double brew. I like to drink this tea sometimes partially because I like the taste, partially because, you know, you know. Um, so it doesn't work. It's not as efficient for me, so I steep it longer. Sometimes I drink a couple cups. Whatever it takes, um, do this every night. Do not fail. Be faithful with the smooth move. The second important thing is going to be the saltwater flush. You are going to do 32 ounces, so two of these large glasses, of lukewarm water with two teaspoons of unidized salt. Here I have salt from... The Mediterranean Ocean called Falk Salt. It's natural sea salt and stuff. So it's not iodized. Um, so you want to go ahead and put two teaspoons, not tablespoons, two teaspoons of salt into your lukewarm water. Dissolve it well. And then you're going to chug this in the morning. I mean, within 15 minutes, preferably like as fast as you can, you're just going to drink it. It is a saltwater flush. It does exactly what a flush does, it's going to wash right through you and just clear your system and you're going to be squeaky clean on the inside. This is the part that really strips you of any toxins and any gunk that you still have in your system. And uh, the first few days of this are going to be absolutely awful. After that, it's really just the taste that's going to bother you. Um, you want to give yourself a good two hours to let this work. So if you have to be at work at 7.30 like me, do this at like 5.00. Go back to bed. Your stomach will wake you up and tell you what's going on. Um, if you're going to have a really busy morning and you're going to be like in meetings or in a situation where you really can't be running to the bathroom every 15 minutes, skip this and just brew yourself another Senna tea just to make sure that you keep clearing out. Um, don't do that all the time. Don't substitute it. But, you know, at least for the first three to five days, make sure you're doing the saltwater flush. Um, you're going to see that there's not that much gunk in you after, like, the fourth or fifth day, so you can afford to do a couple of days of just, like, this at night and this in the morning. This. Um, so that's what you're going to do with the saltwater flush and the sanity saltwater flush in the morning, sanity at night, every night. Now, here's the good part. You should acquire some sort of 64-ounce container that you could just carry with you all day long. Um, you're going to fill it mostly with nice, filtered, clean spring water, if that is your fancy. And this is going to be your life source. So in here, you're going to add a three quarters to one cup of juiced, organic, wonderful, fresh lemon. It has to be fresh lemon. Don't buy that lime juice stuff. Don't use lemon-flavored stuff. Don't juice all your lemons and then freeze them and then unfreeze them. It has to be fresh lemon because these have enzymes that die the minute that you start cutting into the lemon. They just dissipate and evaporate. So every morning you want to juice your lemons fresh. If possible, for every you can make your lemonade in cups 
and just like have the freshest of the fresh. Um, but if you work, like you know, I hope most of you do, um, just juice about three quarters to one cup of fresh lemon juice. It can be lime juice too if you have lime, and you want to add that to your concoction. So three quarter cup to one cup of juice of lemon. If you have a juicer, just peel them and run the whole thing through the juicer, and then you get all the goodness from like the what the, that white stuff that's on the inside. I forget the name, the fiber stuff. So you can also do that if you have a juicer. Then you are going to need some nice grade B natural maple syrup. Yes, this is a gallon that I have almost gone through. Um, also, three quarters to one cup of maple syrup is going to go into your concoction. That is what you're going to mix every day. If you feel that it's too sweet, don't forget that you can, from this concoction, you can dilute out, like get a big cup of ice and then just put some on there, whatever. You want to make sure you do get three quarters to um, a cup of maple syrup because that's kind of where all of your calories are going to come from. You're going to be surviving on about 650 calories on this diet, which is very, very low. Um, so you want to make sure you get all of those in there. If it's too sweet, just dilute it as you drink it or whatever. And then the third part of this lemonade is cayenne pepper. The cayenne pepper, you can just add it into your drink, but cayenne pepper steeps and makes it extremely spicy. Even for people who do like spicy stuff, um, you're going to get really sick of that constant spiciness. So what I do is I take a nice big glass of ice, and then I pour my concoction on top, and then I give it a good three or four shakes of cayenne pepper, mix it up, drink it with a straw. That way it doesn't give it a chance to seep. It just has like a nice uh, peppery flavor, and um, and that does it for me. There is cayenne pepper in capsule form if you can't like do the taste of spicy, so you can just take a capsule of cayenne or two every time you have a glass of your lemonade. But um, sticking to the plan is the best. If you can handle it, do it. If you can't handle it, you'll learn. But cayenne pepper is crucial to this because it's going to speed up your metabolism. It's going to help you burn fat. It's going to do all these wonderful things that you can Google um, and then I don't have to tell you. So cayenne pepper. So this is what you're going to do for approximately 10 days. Um, you can go longer. I've done it for 14. On the 14th day, I stopped mostly because I was bored. The truth is that um, cravings and hunger stop after the third day. Sometimes you drag into the fourth. Um, the biggest thing for me is that uh, I don't get any caffeine on this fast, so I'll have a couple. I'll have migraines for the first couple of days because it's caffeine withdrawal. But as soon as um, I manage to get over the caffeine withdrawal, I feel pretty good. And um, you're also gonna start like having weird like delusions of things that you want to eat, and you're gonna miss like crunching and chewing. Um, don't worry, that's all going to go away. You're going to start having a lot of realizations about food and you're going to spend a lot of the time that you're on this fast really planning how your life is going to be when it's done. So it's really cool. It's really fun. Use this as a restart for your life, not as a weight loss program because after you're done with this, you're going to spend one day drinking orange juice and then you're going to slowly reintroduce fruits and vegetables and then day by day add um things back into your diet. So don't go back to your old habits. Just just use this as an opportunity to really change things. If if you were going to stop eating cheese, use this as an opportunity to stop eating cheese. You're going to cleanse your body of any cheese you've had and any cravings of cheese you're going to have. In fact, you can kick dairy because, I mean, stop smoking while you're on this. It's going to clear all the nicotine out of your system. This is a really, really, really great reboot to help you just kind of start over and, and, and diet right, and it's going to give you a tremendous amount of energy, especially in the days right after you finish to start a workout program because you're now getting um, high doses of protein again and stuff, so you'll be like, yeah, let's do this. So use the Stanley Burroughs Master Cleanse as a Kickstarter for yourself. There are a lot of naysayers on the Internet, and they do have a lot of valid points. Um, but if you are using this for the right reasons, you will have great results. Oh, also, if you have bad breath, you're allowed to drink mint tea. Don't forget. All right. See you later.